Good morning students. So today we will discuss one more problem related to equivalence relation. I hope by now you are clear with what you mean by an equivalence relation. A relation which is reflexive, symmetric and transitive is called as an equivalence relation. Okay, so today we will see what is a new problem. So show that the following relation R in Z. Z is nothing but set of integer. So the relation R is defined on set of integers. How it is defined? How, uh, what are the elements, what kind of elements are in relation R? So it is of the form ordered pair x, y. Now what is the relation between x, y? So that we can include those numbers inside the relation. It should, the x and y should be such that it, can be, it, should, uh, it should be able to be divided by x minus y. That is 2 should divide x minus y. What do you mean by 2 divides x minus y? That is nothing but when you divide x minus y by 2, you should get an integer. Okay? 2 divides x minus y. 2 divides x minus y it implies x minus y divided by 2 should be a integer. Okay? I hope you are clear with the definition of the relation. Ordered pair x comma y, it should be of the form x minus y divided by 2 should be an integer. 2 should divide the uh, difference between them that is x minus 1 okay and remember this question is very very important for 3 marks many times this question has been re repeated okay so what what we have to show they have only told they have uh, given us the question that we have to show it as an equivalence relation since z is a integer integers are very vast in number which is an infinite set we cannot restrict integers so that if it is a finite set, we can write the elements which comes under R and then we can check with the elements. But since Z is an infinite set where we don't have a count on the numbers, we cannot take elements and check for each and every element. So we have to go in general. Okay. So what I'll do? First we have to show that in order to show that it is an equivalence relation, we have to show that it is a reflexive relation. It is a reflexive. So R is reflexive, we have to show. Okay. Now, what is the condition for reflexivity? How do we prove that your relation is reflexive? Ordered pair A comma A belongs to R for every A belongs to A. So, whatever A you take from the integer Z, ordered pair A comma A should belong to R. Okay. So, I will see that. With, uh, so, let X belongs to Z. I am taking a random number from Z integer, any integer. Okay, let X belongs to Z. I have to show that X comma X belongs to R. Okay, X comma X belongs to R. But in order to, in order that this particular order pair should be in R, what is the condition? When you do X minus X, it should be divided by 2. So that when you divide, you should get an integer. So I will see. That implies, what happens, I should get, what happens to x minus x? What is x minus x? x minus x is 0. Correct? 0 divided by 2 is how much? Is 0. Again, 0 is an integer. So, which means that, uh, we can divide x minus x by 2. So, 2 divides x minus x. So, 2 divides x minus x implies, ordered pair x comma x belongs to R. Since we have taken a random number, we can generalize to any number. Thus, for uh, x comma x belongs to R, for every x belongs to Z, hence R is reflexive. Hence R is reflexive. Why I have to write this sentence again? Because I have taken a random number and I have to generalize it to any number. Okay. Thus, x comma x belongs to R for every x belongs to Z. So, reflexivity is done. What is the next step? Next, we have to prove that it is symmetric. So, how to prove that it is symmetric? So, what is the definition of a symmetric matrix? Suppose A comma B belongs to R. We have to show that the reverse of that, that is ordered where B comma A is also in R. Correct? So, now... So, I will take two elements. I have to show R is symmetric. R is symmetric. So, what I will do? I will take two random numbers from the integers. Let x, y belongs to z. Okay. And I will assume that an ordered pair x, 
topic belongs to the re relation R. Okay, I have taken x comma y belongs to Z and ordered pair x comma y is in R. What is what do you mean by the ordered pair x comma y is in R? That means that implies two divides x minus y. Correct? According to the definition, if it is in the relation, then two divides x minus y. Now, if you take any number, okay, if you take any number, say four. What is 4 by 2? 4 by 2 is 2, which is an integer. If I take negative of 4, that is minus 4 by 2. What is it? What is minus 4 by 2? It is minus 2. So, you can see that if 2 divides an integer, okay, if 2 divides an integer, then 2 divides the negative of that integer as well. Okay, you can take any number for that matter. Integers, okay. So, if 2 divides an integer, then 2 divides the negative of integers as well. Okay. So, what can I, I can conclude? That implies, I can say 2 divides the negative minus of x minus y as well. It is not only with 2, any number for that matter. Okay. So, say 6 by 3. What is 6 by 3? It is 2. If I take minus 6 by 3, it is also minus 2. So, if any number if any number divides a particular number, then that particular number divides the negative of that as well. Okay. So, 2 divides minus of x minus y as well. But, I will take that minus inside. So, 2 divides minus root to x is minus x minus into minus plus y. So, that is 2 divides minus x plus y. That implies 2 divides I will write the positive term first. y minus x. 2 divides y minus x. 2 divides x minus y implies ordered pair x comma y is in R. 2 divides y minus x implies ordered pair y comma x is in R. So we have proved that if x y is in R then y comma x is also in R. Okay. I hope you are clear with the symmetric part. Now what is our last step? We have to show that R is symmetric. Okay. We have to prove R is, sorry, R is transitive. We have to prove R is transitive. So, how to prove that a particular relation is transitive? What is the definition? Suppose you have three elements. Let A, B, B, C. Then, if you assume that A, B is in R and B, C is in R. Okay, and if you can show that a comma c is also in R, then we say that that particular relation is transitive. Okay, so here, so here I'll begin with three elements. Let x comma y comma z belongs to Z. Okay, and I'll assume that and x comma y belongs to R and y comma z belongs to R. Okay, x comma y belongs to R and y comma z is in R. x y is in R implies two divides, two divides x minus y. Okay, y comma z is in R implies and two divides y minus z. Okay, okay. So now two divides x minus y. What does that mean? If you divide x minus y by 2, you will get an integer, say k. And 2 divides y minus z, what does that mean? So, if you add, that is, if you divide y, y minus z by 2, it should be equal to, it should be equal to some y. Okay, some integer y. Okay, now I will write, so x minus y is nothing but, if I take this to the other side, it is 2k and y minus z is equal to 2 n. Okay. I need to prove that x comma z is in R. In order to show x comma z is in R, what I have to prove? 2 divides x minus z. Okay. In order to show x minus z is in R, I have to show that 2, my, 2 divides x minus z. Okay. Now, if I take the sum of left hand sides, that is x minus y plus y minus z. 
If I am adding left hand side, I should add the right hand side as well. What is x minus y? It is 2k plus what is y minus z? It is 2 here. That implies x minus y plus y. So minus y plus y get cancels. x minus z is equal to 2 into, here we can see 2 is common, k plus l. Okay? 2 into k plus l. Where k and l are integers, sum of two integers is again an integer. So this is an integer. Okay? So that implies I can take z, uh, 2 to the other side. So x minus z divided by 2 is equal to k plus l. Okay? If x uh, x minus z, when I divide x minus z by 2, that means it gives me an integer. Okay. So, what does that mean? 2 divides, 2 divides x minus z. Correct? 2 divides x minus z. So, 2 divides x minus z implies ordered pair x comma z. 2 divides x minus z implies ordered pair x comma z belongs to R. Hence, it is I hope you are clear with the problem. If not, you can ask me the questions. Okay. Thank you.